Previously on The Potentialists. Safety first. Back in court again, guys. I gotta drive! Can I have a moment to myself, please? There's one grain! I threw up. Now that's a fire! Bam! I don't want it. Ready to rock! Ready, set, vlog. I don't hear beep. Do you hear beep? Are you hearing things in the house? We've gone through most of our day today, and the woman is still standing and just walking around. As soon as I sit, the thing is gonna come back on. You know when you glimpse food that you know that you have that food item, but you don't have the proper things to use it with? I've been trying to eat this cheese for a while, but you can't just eat it with a spoon, you need chips. And I didn't have any chips. We finally got chips. So what did I eat? I want you to ask now. Double dipping? Which way? No, no, double dipping I don't care about. Which ones are contaminating? Do we contaminate salsa with cheese or cheese with salsa? I say you contaminate the salsa with the cheese since the salsa already has a consistency of several different ingredients. And the salsa one is almost, is more gone anyway. Yeah. Contaminate the cheese with the salsa. No, other way around. Meanwhile, back into the chamber of the beeping thing. Oh, we were eating it. It was delicious. The focus became so bad that she really needed to know what the beeping sound was, and she could have done so many other things to take her away from it, but nope, what you resist persists. You did clean up the poop that was there earlier, right? Yes. Okay. I received a text from Valerie, and then it wasn't just one text, it was several texts. Her thinking that I was pranking her, or pranking the team, because there was a beeping sound in the studio, and it was going off. And at that moment, I wasn't in the studio, so I responded to her, I said, no, it's not me, and she didn't believe me. So she kept texting me, telling me exactly what was going on. I asked for a new funny for God, and she said, why? I said, because there's a beep coming from your cupboard, and every time that we get close, it goes away. He says, not me, vlog, vlog it. <laughs> vlog what? <laughs> not me, we vlog it. We don't vlog anything. They were vlogging me earlier and making fun of me, but look it, other people are now no, standing here. Is it that? Oh, there's a whole lot of stuff in here that could be beeping. Then we kind of got some bad news from Valerie. The cheese top had fungus mold growing on it. It was disgusting. It was nasty. Uh, you should have contaminated the cheese with the salsa. <laughs> Party, party's over. What happened? There's stuff growing in the cheese. Hopefully just the top, but yeah, I'm done. You done? Wait, what uh, kind of stuff is I'm, growing? It's does it, does it matter what's growing in there? If you look it up, mold's not bad for you. Oh, for him, he's allergic to penicillin. Allegedly. Penicillin? Am I swelling up? What's the expiration date? Is it within the last year? See, the mold's only on the top there. You can see it all in here too. Wow, I can't believe you guys have been eating from this. Oh my Disgusting. god, I want to go vomit. We ate like half that bottle. Yeah, yeah, we sure did. How much of that bottle did we eat? <laughs> we'll find out later. Oh my god, I can already feel the runs happening. Hey guys, and welcome to the show. If you're just tuning in, we are looking for a beep that is continuously annoying everyone who is in the studio. Now Alexa has come to help out. And we have found our third camera on this story. Eventually she got frustrated. She couldn't find what it was and it got to the point that she even said a couple of words she shouldn't have. You know where that's coming from? Where? The garage. Go, it's huh? in there. The it's, it's something in the garage. What beeps? Nothing beeps I don't know, but room. go open the f***ing door and find it. Hey, watch your Sensory. mouth. A lot of times we get frustrated and we get blinded. Instead of focusing on what we really need to be doing and finding ways to better ourselves. But I realized that through this whole time she was focusing on something really small. How many of you have ever focused on something small that has become something huge in your mind? And it stopped you from getting what you want or what you're supposed to be doing. And it just takes you on a different path. So Alex said it's in the garage. What do you think? Oh, she's so right. It's totally in the garage. We found it. It's definitely here because we heard it when we were opening it, but it hasn't beeped since, so we don't know. I think it's the door. Why would the door be beeping? I don't know, maybe wind is moving in and the little bracket is moving no, and it's, it's metal. No, it's an electronic beep, it's not a... kind of sounds like a metal beep. They may have no, found the metal. noise. Let's go see. Is there a resolution? Yeah. Apparently. Because when the 
the thing's down, it's here. Um, so any movement must rub it against it. That peculiar object that opens the door like so. That's a different squeak. Now it is. I put oh. WD-40 over there, and now that doesn't squeak. All right. That doesn't make noise now. At the end, she told me, oh, okay, it wasn't you. We found out what it was. We don't need to put that much energy on little things like that. Don't sweat the small stuff. Focus on other things. Focus on your project, completing the task at hand. Oh, goodbye. You know, you get out of the closet and you're forced into a garage. Hey guys, this is Bert. And I want you guys to know that you can like, comment, subscribe, and make it happen. And guess what? <laughs> I'll see you on the other side.